Reem in the YouTube live chat has a question. Reem is asking how to increase the speed over time for an object that loops from one X position to another X position. It loops from one position to another, speed up the time. So from one X position to another, you would want to ping pong it if you want it to go back and forth. And let's say, let's turn this to VEC2 and we'll just create a default object. So we've got this default object. Let's shrink it down so that it can easily move around. And we'll just say on start, we will set the position of this object but through the transit by time. And then we can define some positions. We'll just say it stays the same on the Y and it moves from <clears throat> negative 20 to 20. And then let's see the duration. Notice um, this is a good thing to realize uh, so you don't spend time trying to debug. But if the duration is set to zero, whenever you trigger transit by time, the end of the node and the stay node will not trigger, basically. Or if they do, they give you the, the from position rather than the to. Or just, yeah, as we can see here, it's just nothing, actually. But yeah, good to note in case you're like, why, why isn't it going from negative 20 to 20? You just haven't set the time yet. Um, so we've got two seconds set on this. And it'll do one loop. And what we want to do is let's create a variable that holds the time, the duration. Um, so set and get, I would create this variable that at the start, we can define that too. And then we can say, once the first transition ends, we will take this variable and we'll subtract 0 0.1 from it and then set it. So this is where it gets a little wacky. Whenever you have a transit by time and you're trying to do something and then start it over, you kind of have this crisscross at the top. There's not usually a better way to do it. And then make sure to plug in our new duration here. And then every time it finishes, the duration will lower by 0.1. So it'll move a little bit faster. And I think the hard thing here is that I thought 20 pixels was a lot hard to see. We could also make it a little easier to see. So as you can see, it's speeding up a little bit, 1.6, 1.5 second duration, and it's going faster and faster each loop. This could be very useful. <laughs> At a certain point, the duration becomes negative, and then I don't know what happens there. But um, that's the point where if you wanted to, you could just say if greater than zero. So if, if your duration is still greater than zero, um, and then instead of directly triggering the start again, we go into this if, and only if the duration is greater than zero, will we re-trigger it. And then otherwise it just stops once, once that duration goes too low. Like this is how I would do it initially. And then maybe, maybe come up with a more polished way if needed, but this does the job. Yeah. I think that was very helpful. Thank you. Um, Reem, if you have any follow-up questions, please let us know.